What's up YouTube? Ellis Entertainment Outdoors back at you again another video. Today I'm here with my lovely wife who's hateful today. No, I'm just joking. But uh, today we're going to be canning squash relish slash chow chow. I'm going to show y'all how to do it. I'm going to show y'all the ingredients we use. Walk y'all through the process. I'll put a link in the description. Well, I'm not. I don't know how. She said she does of the recipe. So let me walk y'all through what we got here. Tell me what we got. We got our yellow squash, onions, onions red, red bell, bell peppers, peppers, green bell peppers. Meat. All this is from the garden except for the onions and the red red bell peppers. We have onions in the garden, but I'm gonna save that for my salsa. So we got yellow mu or mustard. It calls for mustard seeds, but we couldn't find none. So we have uh, ground, ground mustard. mustard, which is the same thing. Celery seed, salt. salt we need vinegar, sugar, and you're gonna need your rings, obviously. Uh, your, sorry about the lightning here. Your little filler for your jar, your jar grabber, and you're gonna need to sanitize your jars, just like anything else, and your lids, or your, yeah, your lids. I'm gonna let her cut up a squash here and show y'all what we're doing. And, and we use a food processor, by the way, with just the blades on it. So. Let me get over here, maybe get a better view. <laughs> All right. Food processor is much easier than hand chopping. And then we'll get all of our ingredients chopped up. We're gonna do our onions, uh, bell peppers, and everything the exact same way we just done this squash. I like mine sort of medium consistency with some chunks, then some finer stuff. Uh, but we're gonna get our bell peppers, onions, and everything ground up, finish grinding it up, get our jars finished, sanitized, uh, our lids, and we'll get back with you when we start the actual process of the making the chow chow so just hang tight all right y'all we're back we got everything ground up we've mixed our it's four red bell peppers four green bell peppers uh we used a few extra green bell peppers just because the ones out of the garden was a little bit small uh four whole onions and i put a couple cayenne peppers in here uh and then our squash so she's gonna measure it out right now put it in a bowl we need what is it? 16 cups. 16 cups of squash. This Nine. makes makes 12 pints. And all we got is a third measuring cup, so. Two. Yeah. That was 16 cups. It was 12 cups. 12 for cups. 16 pints. 12 cups. I'm sorry. I can't keep up. All right. And then we'll add this stuff in here. That's four red bell peppers, four green bell peppers, four onions, and a couple cayenne peppers. Yeah. 
Then we'll mix all this up good. Sorry, I'm trying to do stuff and operate the camera here. That'll be a pretty color when it's done. smells good just like that. I could about eat it like that. It smells so good. All right, now we're going to add some salt. I'll get the salt for. We're going to add some salt. I'll sprinkle it in here as she mixes it. There's not an exact amount of salt to put in here. I like a little bit more salt than other people, so. That should be enough salt. According to my wife, anyway. Cannon is messy. Okay, we got it salted. We got everything mixed together. The next step is we're going to put it over here in the sink in the strainer and we got to let all the juices strain off the vegetables for an hour and then we'll start the rest of the process uh, so as soon as we start the rest of it but it has to drain in a strainer for a minimum of an hour to get all the juices that salt works the all. salt works the juice off and it all drain and then We'll get back with you when we start the rest of it. <laughs> All right, YouTube. It's been an hour. Uh, our stuff's drained off here. We're getting ready to make the, uh, I don't know what you call it, I guess the wash or whatever that it goes in, the brine or whatever. But uh, the wife's gonna make it here. So I need four cups of vinegar. So you get four cups of vinegar. Remember, that's the third cup we're using here. So. Sorry about the lightning, it's not that good. So. Working on what I got here. So that was four cups of vinegar. Six cups of sugar. Now we're gonna use it. She's gonna get six cups of sugar. Sugar's in. How many cups was it again? Six. Six cups of sugar. And four. Now we get four teaspoons, teaspoons of celery seed. I thought we had one that was done open. I think we used the rest of it. Well, four teaspoons. One. Two. Three, four teaspoons of celery seed. And, four and then four teaspoons. It's mustard seed, but we couldn't find any mustard, so we're using mustard powder. Powder. No, ground mustard. Uh, ground mustard. Ground mustard, as long as it doesn't say powder, is the yeah. exact same. Okay. As mustard seed. Mm -hmm. 
You need four of these too. Four of those. Now we'll put this on I. Let's see here. Back one rear. Put this on the I. We'll get it stirred up real good. Bring it to a boil. Get it stirred up. We'll bring it to a boil. Then we'll add this into it. And then we'll bring it back to a, 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 a low boil. Not a steady boil, but a low, low boil. And then We'll take it out, put it in our jars, and uh, go from there. But as soon as this comes to boil, we'll add this in here, and uh, yeah, give us just a minute. All right, y'all, we're back. We let the liquid come to a boil, then we added all our fruit or vegetables or whatever, brought it to a boil for, uh, I can't even talk today, 15 minutes. Let those cook down. We're getting ready to take them off the eye. And we're gonna start jarring it. I'll bring her jars. And she will jar it. I think this is a quarter inch, right? Uh, headspace? A quarter, I would still do a half inch headspace, just to be sure. So we'll take the mix out, jar it up good. Kids is in the background hollering like crazy because they're nuts. We'll take our butter knife and get all the air bubbles out. Lay down. Dog, kids, everything going nuts around here. Part of being a parent and a pet owner, I guess. Go, baby. Same process over again. Leave a little more headspace on this one. I know. You have to get some of that out of there. The spoon. And a little bit more. Is that good? Yeah. You leave your half inch headspace. Sorry about the kids and dog. It's nuts around here. We got a million different things going on. She added just a little bit too much in here, so I'll take some out. Take your knife, get the air bubbles out. Paper towel. I'll drain these lids because they still got they're hot. Make sure you wipe your lids off to your jars. Paper towel, wipe your knife your jars off good. Need a fork? Put your lids on all your jars. Put 
get your rings on. we get those on we're gonna finish filling the jars up but we'll take them and we'll put them down in a water bath for 15 minutes let them go 15 more minutes pull them out that way the jars will seal everything will be good once we get these done we'll get back with you and show you the finished product so just hang tight just a few all right youtube back with you uh we let them go in the water bath canner for 15 to 20 minutes and I lied to you the whole video. I told you to make 12 quarts. I lied. Made nine. So give or take a couple quarts, I guess, with that recipe. But we got nine quarts. This is the finished product here. Pretty good looking stuff. It goes great on hot dogs, hamburgers, brats. soup, beans, brats, uh, chili, all kinds of things. So if y'all like it, want to give it a try, try it out. Uh, I just want to thank y'all for your support. If you would, just please remember to like, share, and subscribe.